Hey guys, so in this lesson I'll be talking a little bit about picking technique. Um, this is something that gives a lot of beginners trouble uh, early on in their playing and uh, you know there's a lot of different ways to hold the pick. If you've ever seen George Benson play, the way he holds it is, is kind of unusual but it's, his technique is very efficient. Um, Ingve Malenstein also has his own kind of way of holding it and, 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 and playing in general. So what I'll be doing is just going over a couple of basic approaches um, that people use to be able to play faster and across the strings. Um, so I'll just go ahead and get started. Um, <coughs> you can check the, the PDF in the link below um, and the blog post if, if you want the, the reference material. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. So anyway, here goes. So the first technique is very simple. It's very straightforward. Um, it's called alternate picking. Um, most guitar players will default to this once they realize they can't down pick every single note, right? So to demonstrate, I'll just use a basic C major scale, three notes per string pattern, and. Uh, you know, basically, it's it's nothing fancy about it. It's just up, down. I'm sorry, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Right, just alternating. So, here goes. And then descending. Simple enough, right? So this is a, a great way to just start playing faster. You can access, you know, 16th notes this way. Eventually when you practice, you can get it really fast. Um, for some players, this does bring up the issue of being able to play across strings easily. Um, it can cause some, some trouble for some players. You know, I know, I know that I, I use a, a mix of this technique and the next one, which is called economy picking. Uh, even when getting off this, uh, getting uh, across the strings, right? So um, let's just go right into economy picking. And basically, all this is is uh, it's called economy picking because of the economy of motion, and you're trying to use, you know, the the least you, the least uh, movements possible, right? So, <coughs> in particular when um, when playing across different strings, if your previous stroke was a uh, downstroke you'll start the next string on a downstroke as well. And you'll even tailor your lines to, to sort of accommodate this technique, right? So for example, the same scale would look something like this. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, right? And then down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Right, so I mean, it'll it'll depend on the player, and eventually you'll find your own way and your own blend of these um, techniques um, that will suit you the most. Um, but it's important to know all of them, of course. And uh, like I said, this is a great one to be able to get across strings quickly. So for lines like, you see, if I tried to alternate pick that, it might be a little bit difficult. See, it's not, it's not quite as clean or, or fluid, but if I do this, right, it's a lot cleaner and, um, at least for me, it feels a lot easier to play that way. Um, but it doesn't fit everything, right? So, the last example um, is called hybrid picking, and basically this is, it's called hybrid picking because you're using a, a blend of the pick and your fingers. And uh, it's, a, it's a great way to play... Um, patterns where, where you're playing notes on adjacent or, or even non-adjacent strings uh, quickly, right? So just uh, for this example, I'll just use a simple uh, C and C in, in an octave, right? And all you do is with your middle finger, you're going to play the, this G string, right? So. It's useful for even for, for comping stuff, you might want to use two or, or even three fingers, so... Right, and stuff like that. Um, 
You could also use it in your line playing. You can get some really cool um, intervallic kind of stuff happening. So, I don't know. Uh, you know? And so on, right? So, yeah, those are the three that I wanted to cover today. Um, hope this video helps. Remember to subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one.